Name Productions. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على من بعثه الله رحمة للعالمين اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن استن بسنته إلى يوم الدين أما بعد all praise is due to Allah and may the perfect peace and blessings of Allah be upon his Prophet and Messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam As to what follows Brothers and sisters in Islam I would like to commence this presentation with a recitation from Surah Qaf A'udhu Billahi min shaytan rajim وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ وَنَعْلَمُ مَا تُوَسْوِسُ بِهِ نَفْسُهُ وَنَحْنُ أَقْرَبُ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ حَبْلِ الْوَرِيدِ إِذْ يَتَلَقَّى الْمُتَلَقِّيَانِ عَنِ الْيَمِينِ وَعَنِ الشِّمَالِ قَعِيدِ مَا يَلْفِظُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ رَقِيبٌ عَتِيدٌ وَجَاءَتْ سَكْرَةُ الْمَوْتِ بِالْحَقِّ ذَلِكَ مَا كُنْتَ مِنْهُ تَحِيدٌ وَنُفِخَ فِي الصُّورِ ذَلِكَ يَوْمُ الْوَعِيدِ وَجَاءَتْ كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَعَهَا سَائِقٌ وَشَهِيدٌ لَقَدْ كُنْتَ فِي غَفْلَةٍ مِّنْ هَذَا فَكَشَفْنَا عَنْكَ غِطَاءَكَ فَبَصَرُكَ الْيَوْمَ حَدِيدٌ الله سبحانه وتعالى says and we have already created man and know what his soul whispers to him and we are closer to him than his jugular vein when the two receivers in other words the recording angels receive seated on the right and on the left he in other words man does not utter any word except that with him is an observer prepared to record it and the intoxication of death will bring the truth that is what you were trying to avoid and the horn will be blown that is the day of carrying out the threat and every soul will come with it a driver and a witness it will be said you were certainly in unmindfulness of this and we have removed from you your cover, in other words, of heedlessness. So your sight this day is sharp. Dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, know that death is a creation from amongst the creation of Allah, the Almighty. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Tabarak, الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا The one who created death and life to test which of you is best in actions. Today, knowledge has reached its peak. However, it has failed to discover the reality of death. They don't know what it is exactly or how a person actually dies how the soul separates itself from the body or when a person will die. This is because Allah Most High confined it to his own knowledge. Indeed, what an important topic this is, given that every soul shall taste death. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Kullu nafsin dha'iqatul maut, thumma ilayna turja'oon. Every soul shall taste death. Then to us you will return. Wallahi, we shall taste it. Wallahi, we will drink it. For verily, the prophets, the kings, the leaders, the slaves, the rich and the poor, all the nations of the past have tasted it. Death has been tasted and experienced by Amr ibn al-As. He woke up one day only to experience the pangs, the sharp pain of death. His son Abdullah al-Zahid, the one deeply devoted in worship to Allah, he turns to his father and he says, Ya Abati, O oh dear father, describe for me death, for you are the one who will give a truthful description of it. He said, Ya Bunay, O oh my dear son, Wallahi, it is as though the mountains of the dunya of this world have been placed on my chest, and it is as though I was breathing through the eye of a needle. Allahu Akbar. Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with him. He asks a man by the name of Ka'b al-Ahbar to describe death to him. He says, O leader of the believers, the likeness of death is like that of a man who is struck with a thorny branch, with every thorn hitting a different vein. Then the branch is pulled away, with every vein being ripped away with it. La ilaha illallah.